Hi, this is Matt with another amateur instructional video today. Um, today we're actually going to be looking at the 8 camera system from O6. Um, and in order to do that, uh, and well specifically what we're looking at is how to set up the IP Pro app on your iPhone and how to access the 8 camera O6 system. So to that end, the first step is always uh, with your O6 system is to use the mouse provided, right click the screen, select system setup, and then select network setup from the top. You need to always ensure that you have a healthy network, okay? That basically makes for certain that you'll be able to access your NVR from the internet or from your wireless phone. And today specifically, we're going to look at the IP Pro app for the iPhone, okay? Uh, to that end, um, if you look at the App Store, you're going to look up IP Pro, okay? Now, we've already searched it up uh, in the App Store, and we've already downloaded this app, so we're just going to click Open, okay? Now, I've already set up a username and password, but if you haven't, go ahead and click Register down there, and create a username, a password, and then put in your email address. Okay, now it's important that you check your email after creating this, um, this username and password that's specifically for the application. This is not the username and password for your NVR, for your O6 system, okay? Verify your email address. That completes your registration for this app, okay? Now, we're going to go back, and one moment, I'm going to enter my password real quick here for the purpose of this demo. Okay, now you can see that I've logged in essentially, okay? So at this point, I'm going to click the plus sign to add our device. We're going to add it by cloud ID, okay? Now at this point, um, what I'd like you to do, hopefully you still have your NVR unit up and you have your system set up and your network set up, because there's a button actually here where you'll click show QR code, okay? Now that QR code is associated with your NVR, your O6 system, okay? Now, what you're going to do is, if you want to add the QR code or scan the QR code to populate the cloud ID field, which is basically your identification for your O6 camera system, you're going to click this little minus sign right here, okay? Now, what that'll do once you get it opened up, um, I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this video, but you will essentially scan with your camera the cloud ID, okay? The QR code, which will populate the cloud ID. Now, for whatever reason, if your camera is not functioning, you're going to click the cloud ID right here and you're going to enter this number right here. This is your cloud ID, okay? You're just manually entering it as opposed to scanning the QR code with your camera after clicking the minus sign right here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and enter our cloud ID here for our demo unit, 12193060. Eight five six. Okay. Now for the demo unit, uh, as you know, your NVR, which it'll it'll say in your instructions, the default username is admin, and there's no password. Okay. So for the purpose of this demo unit, we've left it the same. So now we're going to click save. Okay. Now it will take a moment for it to save all the settings in the application and for this to populate. Okay. And now it's populated with our eight camera system. Now at first, it may show cloud cameras, okay? That doesn't mean it's not working. Go ahead and click what you see and check to see if the cameras will load. Now for the purpose of this demo unit, I only have one camera functional out of eight, okay? It's actually camera three. So we're gonna give it a minute to load, okay? Now the other important function of this app is you have options to look at one camera specifically four cameras at a time, six or eight, okay? Um, so now they're all loading. Camera three should show up over here if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna give it just a minute to see if it'll load. Okay, it did. Camera three showed up. Now if I wanna look at that camera specifically, I can just click it with my finger. Let me take it a minute here. Okay, now I'm looking at only camera three, okay? Now I can go back to what it was showing four cameras and I can even cycle through to the other four if I want. So there's lots of options you can use with this, okay? Now that being said, you have two more options down here. 
You have pan, tilt, zoom, which if you had a camera that would allow you to manually zoom in or tilt the camera or to pan 180 degrees, you could do that. For the purpose of our demo system, we're using fixed cameras, okay? The other option is to go to playback, okay? Now, playback, this demo unit doesn't currently have any recordings because it's just been set up. But all of your recordings and the times they're recorded will show up down here and you can click the play button. You can take a picture of what you're seeing on the camera screen right now or you can record video of what you're seeing on the camera right now. You have all these various options. Now after you've taken a screenshot, let me go back in here, after you've taken a screenshot or after you've actually uh, recorded video, you will go to the me button down here and you will go to load records and you can see all your various images and videos you've taken over here and watch them. Uh, the last part of course is that you can set up some alarm pushes or alarm settings or you can use the settings to change your password, username, that sort of thing. Uh, last part we have a demo here. Now this is just to practice actually taking screenshots and videos of other demo units, camera feeds from other cameras. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple app to use. It works really well with the 068 camera system. And that, that's pretty much what, I'll, what I have for you today. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to inquire. Everyone have a nice day. Thank you.